DIY diffusion panels, take two. Hey gang, commercial photographer Tony Roseland here again in my studio today with a little DIY project for you. Um, we're going to show you how to make your own diffusion panels um, for less than 30 bucks. Uh, this is something that a friend of mine showed me and uh, I thought it was uh, worth sharing. So I'm going to walk you through the process. Uh, what I'm talking about is these. These are diffusion blades. Uh, you can buy these at most photographic supply houses. They're basically a thin metal frame that you can put uh, diffusion material across and uh, they have a post on them that you can put into a C-stand. Um, these things run anywhere from about 60 bucks to 110 bucks depending on the size um, and that doesn't include the diffusion fabric. So you know if you need a few of these that can get pretty pricey pretty fast especially if uh, you like doing your own projects and making some of your own gear uh, or saving money so um, the way we're going to do this is with these these is uh, canvas stretcher bars you can get these at most uh, art supply stores they run anywhere from two to five dollars uh, per bar you can buy them in all different lengths so you can make a lot of these in various sizes this one's kind of a, a large rectangle size um, but uh, so the frame itself is going to cost you maybe 15 to 20 bucks. Um, that's the first piece. The next thing you're going to need is some white gaffer's tape. Um, you'll want to get some diffusion material. This is Roscoe 3008 Tough Frost. Roscoe is kind of my go-to for all of my diffusion uh, materials. They come in several different strengths uh, depending on how diffused you want the light source to be. 3008 is one of my favorites. Um, just some standard straight edge razor blades. This is a, an ATG gun made by Scotch. It's basically double-sided tape. Um, you can just buy roll a double-sided tape if you don't have one of these. Um, and then some A-clamps. Uh, and I'll show you how we put all this together. First thing we want to do is assemble the frame. And I usually find a nice square doorway in my house or in the studio. Uh, most contractors, when they install doors, they make sure that they're square. So by jamming these up into the corner of the doorway, when you assemble them, you can be sure you have a good 90 degree angle on all of your corners that way. I throw a couple of staples in each corner just to secure them so that they don't come loose. Um, and once we've got that assembled, then we want to go ahead and apply our white gaffer's tape. The point of this is because once we lay our diffusion material across here, if we're shooting a product, for example, that is reflective, you'll see the wood uh, show through the diffusion panel and it'll reflect onto your subject. So by basically whiting out the frame, it helps keep that any reflection that shows up white. Um, so let's do that now. All right, there we go. We got it wrapped with uh, white gaff tape. And uh, obviously the more time you spend on this, uh, the cleaner you can make it, the prettier you can make it. I'm doing it quickly for the sake of our video. Now we're gonna apply the double-sided tape using the ATG gun. Again, like I said, if you don't have one of these, double-sided tape works fine. You can even glue it for that matter. Um, so we'll do that now. Okay, so we've applied our ATG double-sided tape, and uh, I pre-cut a sheet of Roscoe Diffusion to fit this uh, frame already, so I'm just gonna roll it out and apply it. All right, there's our diffusion panel. Um, one of the ways we can attach this to a grip stand is either by 
uh, opening up the knuckle and letting it actually grab onto the frame directly, or you can just get some A-clamps from your local hardware store and clamp them to the top of the frame and then run a grip arm uh, through and just let it hang to shine your light through. A um, Couple of different ways to do that. Additionally, if you didn't want to attach the diffusion material to the frame permanently, um, you could just use a bunch of clamps and clamp the diffusion material to the frame all the way around. Um, it's not quite as stable and these clamps can get in the way, um, but uh, the double-sided tape works pretty well. So um, that's our DIY for the day. So um, these frames cost uh, about three to five dollars um, per piece. So um, somewhere for the cost of about 20 bucks, um, if you buy a five or $10 sheet of diffusion fabric, um, really you get into this, like I said, for around 20 bucks, depending on the size. So um, hope you guys uh, put one of these things together and uh, let me know how it works out for you. Thanks.